Good evening, everybody. Namaste and welcome to our Sunday satsang, which this evening is a kirtan with Dhyanaji. This will be the first time actually we'll be um, hearing Dhyanaji play the Esraj, an instrument master used to play. And Dhyanaji, of course, has been practicing and very kindly sharing uh, so many pieces of music that she has now, uh, she's playing on this instrument. Um, also, welcome to all our Guru Bhais online. So I'll just share a few words about Master's music and his suggestions on chanting that we could take deeper into this one hour Kirtan. And I want to actually start not too far, but just a few hours ago this morning, I had a level one class and there were about 12 students. They had come to Ananda for the very first time right here. And we said, okay, as people are coming, uh, let's do a chant or two. And I could immediately see on their mind that I came for a meditation class. So why is this harmonium here? Why is he asking us to sing? And so I said, we'll sing a very universal chant. From joy I came, for joy I live, and in sacred joy I melt again. I said, I'll explain this. They wouldn't sing. So I started and they were only listening. So I stopped after one repetition and I said, oh, you have to join me. And they said, okay, okay. I started once again and uh, I sang one and a half times this time and I looked at them and they were not looking at me and they were not singing so I stopped again and I said you know I've been singing this for 18 years I know this chant and I have I love this chant but this is your class and I said I explained a little bit and I said please sing with me and trust me after that they asked me two more times during the class to sing that chant and right here where you were sitting a lady was sitting and she said thank you for making us sing that. I had forgotten the word joy. I was not witnessing it in my life. And I had forgotten the sweetness and the quality of the kind of happiness which the word joy stands for. And she said, I know pleasure, I know happiness, but joy I had forgotten. And this chant has brought it back into my consideration and into my life. And, and then, of course, they asked me one more time, please, let's sing it together before the class ends. And of course, remember, it was a meditation class. But what really happened, and I explained to them that it's not so much about controlling the mind. We have to do that. But if somebody told you that what you're trying to really do can happen if you, let's say, got the heart on your side, you'd say, well, I'm all for it. And that's what happened in the class. Now, you can listen. These are beautiful chants. So you can listen to it and say, I enjoyed it. But would it have the same effect as you sang it? No. Playing it with an instrument. Why is Dhyanaji playing the Esraj? You might ask the question. Well, as we serve as instruments for this music, we ourselves are blessed. The second and more important thing is, Kriyanandaji, when he was beginning to write and sing, he said he didn't want to flood the world with his ignorance. But when ultimately Master asked him to do the same things, he did it. And he found that actually these are spiritualized chants. A saint, in his own case, he got a deep divine experience through these chants. So without conveying that, it kind of comes along with the chant. And if you and I approach it with that reverence, then Master said these chants, which have been spiritualized, they have taken somebody into super consciousness. Why would they not take you and me into that same state? So this morning, with a person who has not read the books, does not know our music, and was not willing to sing, I can tell you if they had such an experience, of course, we who understand how to go about it can have a much deeper experience. Of course, you will know the details, but I'll just close with this suggestion by Master. Swami said, Master actually, again, without emphasizing it too much, has put you and me inside the chant. Many of his chants are not just about repeating a mantra or the name of God, but he says, I am thine, be thou mine, door of my heart. And Master says, when he has put you over there, you become an active uh, participant. And hence, you derive a lot based on the feelings you bring, the concentration, the faith, the openness that you bring to the chant. So let's keep that in mind also. As you know, I think it was America's best uh, choir that once sang for Master. He was the chief guest and they asked him, how was it? And Master said, your technique was very good. 
but you were singing to impress me. He said, um, he was the chief guest, it was a big thing. He said, sing to God, impress God with your devotion. And keep that in mind that, yes, it so happens that Dhyana Ji and all of us will be singing, starting the chant, you will respond. But look at the masters in between, look into their eyes, open your heart to them and don't think of them as pictures. Think that I many times sing this way, I, feel, I think I'm sitting at Kriyananda Ji's feet and singing to him. He's asked me, can you sing this? And I sing. And the sweetness it brings at that with that visualization is of a whole different level. So I would urge you to approach your singing also with some of these attitudes. And I would like to invite Dhyana Ji yeah. to share a few And thoughts. if anyone wants to come down closer and sit on the floor, you're more than welcome to. to get closer to the music. It's not an evening to sit in the back row for sure. So if you definitely want to come closer, you can hear the vibration, feel the vibration more of the music. I am just really happy I can share with you all. I've been, as Aditya said, he's been singing these songs for a long time. And, and I remember the beginning of Ananda, my time at Ananda, Swamiji was, he was clear that music was a part of the spiritual path. It wasn't extra, it wasn't if you can sing, if you have a good voice, but he was very encouraging for people because people are so nervous, they're restless, they're worried, they're fearful, they've got problems, and they say, I'm going to sit and meditate, but they're not really meditating. Master said chanting's half the battle. So chanting calms you down, it opens your heart, it gets rid of the stress and the tensions. And I've been uh, singing these chants uh, for nearly 50 years. And I can say, if I had just gone with meditation, I don't think I would have really gone anywhere, honestly. It's just too difficult. In today's world, it's so rajasic and so many pains and different things that go on. It's just very difficult. So one of the legacies that Master left and Swamiji was music, the chants, the songs. Swamiji wrote 400 songs, and I'm hoping to learn all of them. <laughs> it's going to take the rest of my life, but I, um, I've just been playing this instrument, Esraj, which is two, three hundred years old, for um, just a number of months. But in my heart, I've been playing it a long time. I think lifetimes even. I've played violin, I've played cello. And I think I was always looking for this, because in America, the, there wasn't any esraj. When I was playing in school, there was you know the stringed instruments that you see in the West. But then when I came here and I, well, Swamiji always played tanpura, and I just felt, wow. And then when I came here and I, I started playing myself, I think these were the strings I was looking for for a long time. And it, for, uh, for me to be starting to play this at this point in my spiritual path, I was encouraged by Jyotish and Devi Ji to have something that I really enjoy, enjoy doing, a hobby. And so it's, it's a big hobby. It's not just for entertainment. It's for my spiritual growth and my own attunement. And I practice every day for many hours, sometimes one hour, two hours, sometimes four hours, five hours. Now, I, why? Because the vibration just gets in deeper and deeper, and then I can meditate much more deeply. So I'm playing for my, a selfish reason, my own spiritual growth, but I'm also playing to be able to, because Master played, and I want to share an instrument that he played that nobody plays within Ananda worldwide with everybody else, so you can hear the vibration. It's very deep instrument. Sometimes I'm just weeping playing it because it's just, the strings work on your heart. They open the heart. And um, this, this has, uh, depending on the instrument, but this one has 21 strings. That's a lot of strings <laughs> to be playing, but I, I'm only playing on one, and the others are vibrating. So what you're hearing is a vibration on 
the board here of this, all the sounds of uh, the scale. You know, sa de gama pad ha ni sa. You're hearing all those sounds in every note that's being played. And so I think you will enjoy the sounds. I have, um, I have to give credit to my teacher. He's really, really a great teacher. His name is Kashif Nizami. He plays sarangi. His brother is, plays this, and his other brother plays tabla, and the father played this, and was world-renowned, and the grandfather, you know, goes on and on. But to be able to have a teacher that my guru, master, can work through is, it's a deep blessing. And I know master's teaching me, because otherwise, how could I even attempt to play? <laughs> So I hope you enjoy the evening. I think we can dim the lights a little bit now, and um, we'll start with a prayer. So if you want to start. At the end, there'll be a blessing. Everyone can come up as well. Heavenly Father, Divine Mother, Friend, Beloved God, Beloved Gurus, Jesus Christ, Babaji Krishna, Lahiri Mahashai, Swami Sri Yukteswarji, our beloved Guru, Paramhansa Yogananda Ji, Saints of all religions, dearest friend, Swami Kriyananda Ji, we humbly bow before you all. Oh, beloved masters, come to each one of us, fill us with your joy, use us as instruments to sing through us, to express our gratitude and devotion and our divine joy that we have received from you. Help us express these qualities through our devotional chanting today. We invite your divine presence in this kirtan, in our hearts. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Let us invoke the presence of the Gurus, Guru Brahma, Guru Vishnu, Guru Devo Maheshwara. Trigunarahitam 
Jai Guru Jai Paramhans Yogananda Jai Guru Jai Yogananda Jai Guru Jai Jai Guru Jai Guru Jai Guru Jai Jai Guru Jai Guru Jai Guru Jai Paramhansa Yogananda Jai Guru Jai Paramhansa Yogananda Jai Guru Jai Jai Guru Jai Guru Jai Guru Jai Yogananda Jai Guru Jai Jai Guru Jai Guru Jai Guru Jai Jai Guru Jai Guru Jai Guru Jai Paramhansa Yogananda Jai Guru Jai Paramhansa Yogananda Jai Guru Jai Jai Guru Jai Guru Jai Guru Jai Paramhansa Yogananda Jai Guru Jai Paramhansa Yogananda Jai Guru Jai Jai Guru Jai Guru Jai Guru Jai Jai Guru Jai Guru Jai Guru Jai Paramhansa Yogananda Jai Guru Jai Paramhansa Yogananda Jai Guru Jai Jai Guru Jai 
Paramahansa Yogananda Guru Let's meditate for a few minutes, sitting upright. At the spiritual eye, let's visualize the eyes of the Master, ever channeling grace, blessings, divine love. Let us feel those blessings from His eyes, filling our hearts, expanding our awareness and bringing us closer to Him. 